Okay, so after you've removed your fuel, your fuel filters, again, you have three. The smallest one, believe it or not, is your primary, there's your secondary, and there's your third. Okay, it's an all-in-one. Okay, now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna install it. Okay, now again, a little bit of uh, lubricant. You're gonna install that right in there. And you're gonna start turning it, making sure the threads catch nicely, don't cross the threads. You're gonna repeat the process for that filter. And the one I like to leave last is the larger of the three. And I'll explain you know, Install your last filter, which you're gonna to wanna to do, very simple. Grab a funnel, grab some diesel. You might need some help with this one. But what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna simply try to fill up that last one as much as you can. Nice and slow, you are gonna spill. So just nice and slow, get it as close to the threads as you can. The reason you do that, okay, so when you start the truck, it, before you start the truck, you need to prime it. You can, do, you can do that using that little primer pump there, but it just kind of minimizes the time, okay, to prime, and it gets you a nice, strong start. So again, fill up, fill up with as much diesel as you can without spilling or overflowing, and then again, it will make your startup a lot easier. six millimeter socket and you're going to tighten it down and again it's 55 nanometers hope I said that right but anyway tighten it down torque it down and we're going to prime the system right now come with your fuel filter kit will tell you that you need to prime the fuel system you can do it one of two ways you can manually prime it using this little primer pump here and it says it's about 200 to 300 pumps okay or there is a priming port let's see if we can show that there's our priming port right there, okay? Now that's for a different application, but if you wanna manually do it, use that pump, you're gonna fill it. Once you get to about 300, it will be definitely very stiff. And at that point, you should be able to start your engine. Now you can hear the difference as you're priming the fuel, okay, that little pump, you will be able to hear, hear it differently and you can actually feel the primer pump, okay? As you get closer to that point where it's ready to start, it's gonna be a lot harder to push down, and that's good. Essentially what you're doing is you're filling up, a, filling up the cavities with as much diesel as possible, so when you start the engine, again, you're not struggling and you're not gonna have any issues. So after you've primed the heck out of that, okay, you're gonna start your engine. Make sure you're in neutral, and here goes. There you go, nice smooth start. Oil pressure should jump up. That's always that's always very key, very crucial when you're starting an engine, especially a, in my opinion, a DD15. Okay. So right now again we're at about 50 psi when it comes to our oil pressure, which is great. Everything's charging correctly. Oil is is where it should be. Air is building up. So at this point you've successfully done an oil change for your DD15. Now keep in mind, when you turn off the DD15, it is going to struggle to start again. Why? Because you have air in the system. The only way to get it completely out is to run the engine. So once your driver gets on the road and he runs it and runs it and runs it, the air will, will get out, the truck will have no problem starting. Everything should be as it should. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, uh, definitely comment, let me know. If there's something I missed, if there's something maybe uh, you need to know, feel free to ask. After we've done the oil change, we start the engine, we check our oil pressure, we've changed our fuel filters, we've primed it as best we can, and the truck starts up just fine. Now, I turned it off just to do a few little inspections on the truck. I'm going to start it up again. I just want to show you how it starts after a fuel filter change, okay? Now, this is because you've introduced air into the system. You're going to hear the engine struggle to start. <laughs> Okay, so you hear that struggle, that's not normal, okay? And again, that's just because we've introduced air into the system, okay? So it's gonna struggle to start, and that's why you always do your oil change first. Start the engine, you verify oil pressure, turn off the engine, then you proceed to do your fuel filter change. Because the last thing you wanna do is starve the engine of oil, 
while it's struggling to start. And what can happen is you can seize your bearing, seize your engine, and then you're just pretty much in a world of shit. Okay, so just a quick heads up. That's why I do it that way. That's how I was taught, and that's how I do it every single time.